What is the soul? Where is it stored? Some people might argue that everything about who you are is stored in the brain. If that's the case, then there's a good chance that I'm at least 50% subway surfer. Today, I'm going to be talking about brain rot. If you wanted the lucky few to remain untouched by this foul concept, click off now. There is no use in knowing about it, and I refuse to send even one more person into the family guy to baby gronk pipeline. For this reason, I will give no elaboration on the definition of brain rot. Instead, I will chronicle here the four distinct stages of this horrific illness. At first, I reacted like every sweet summer child does after hearing a sentence containing any combination of the words Livy Dunn, Baby Gronk, or Ohio. Amusement with a twinge of disgust. What the fuck is this blank-faced lizard saying and why is he telling me this? However, in the months following first exposure, it wasn't just uncanny creatures feeding me these words. Real internet personalities were being subtly added to a dark place in my mind that was secretly retaining harmful alien phrases like phantom tax and the rhythm. Again, I ignored these symptoms and chuckled without even realizing I was beginning to understand them. Pride truly cometh before the fall, and all that tutting and head-shaking was about to send me plummeting into a sinister rabbit hole unlike anything I'd ever seen. Completely unintelligible videos featuring all manner of subjects started appearing on my feed, with every single one of them being linked by a common, almost psychedelic theme. Side note, I don't use TikTok and never have, so I can't talk about the situation over there. Generally, all the experiences I talk about in this video are in reference to Instagram Reels and to a degree, YouTube Shorts. Anyway, these strange, abrasive mental flashbangs all felt like watching a leaked MK Ultra video experiment. These were clearly not made to be understood, and so initially they got the brain rot stamp. The real danger came with the videos that began using a grotesque, perverted form of English. What seemed to happen is that children's entertainment, new age slang, and random inside jokes from different online communities got steamrolled into ironic terms and phrases that people would just throw around. But if you arrange enough of these buzzwords in a row with the right fillers, you get this otherworldly language only to be understood by children and the criminally insane. However, after a while of seeing these videos, and I'm ashamed to admit exchanging them with my friends, your brain begins to go full on pattern recognition and starts to piece together different terms, their origins, their usage, and before you know it, you can speak and comprehend the strange parcel tongue that unattended preteens communicate in on the bus. Perhaps you listen in on their loudly proclaimed conversation. It's just alcohol, you say. What the sigma? Indeed. Before I knew it, every facet of my life was being tainted by the rot's sinister presence. A typical Monday, March 2024, a college classmate turns to me and utters an indecipherable sentence containing the words Turkish Quandale Dingle. I had to hit bro with the thinker pose and, after collecting myself, exited the lecture to report him to campus security. Every video I watched, post I saw, or person I messaged seemed to further expose me to a now seemingly inevitable adversary. Now, during this video, some of you may have found yourself able to decipher and attribute meaning to the short excerpts of rot I've been sending your way. If that is the case, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this you're cooked. Unfortunately, the brain smoothing effects of this insidious lexicon have begun to take hold. If you don't act now, it won't be long before you find yourself endlessly scrolling Minecraft parkour videos that inexplicably read only the first half of a Reddit post while you watch. There's a reason this stage is called denial. Brain rot is a hard thing to accept. You're young, you're healthy, you're in the prime of your life. How could it be that G-Man from Half-Life rigged into the bowl of a toilet on Source Filmmaker has rendered you unable to drive to work without taking certain precautions? cautions. To mitigate the spread, I'd recommend blocking any individuals you suspect of distributing this kind of content, and immediately ceasing any real sharing to friends and family. As for yourself, the only thing you can do is try to break out the algorithm and wait. If it's any consolation, I'm right there with you, bud. Making this video has taken a toll on me. Endless hours of cognitive assault, thousands of reels scoured and categorized, trillions of neurons fizzling out for the final time, all in the pursuit of sending you this warning. I never thought I would say this, but I actually miss when Instagram Reels was mostly car crashes with a few cat memes sprinkled in the mix. Like, the other day, I opened the app and a reel came up instantly asking to affirm testicular torsion by typing yes. 
What am I meant to do with that? Are there other people out there genuinely hoping for their testes to be magically wrenched around one another? Regardless, it's getting bad out there. Brain rot as a genre is now so varied and saturated that I'm genuinely unsure if humanity will recover. A few years ago, you might have heard a kid say something cringe and still assumed they would grow up to be a well-adjusted, functioning member of society, that eventually they would trade in chug jugs and boogie bombs for hop rocks and porter forts. But I'm not sure people are getting bored of brain rot fast enough. The longer we let it deteriorate our executive function, we begin to stand the same chance a monkey does of losing interest in a banana smoothie. Right now, everything points to this being the end of things as we know it for the internet. People joke about modern slang killing a medieval villager, but if you sat down 2012 PewDiePie and showed him a Jeffrey Epstein Sigma edit, he would be incinerated where he sat by the epic funk sound. I'm not really sure where we go from here, but I'll see you on the other side, I guess. While I was making the early parts of this video, I truly felt that there were just four stages, that the brain rot problem had no solution, at least not for the time being. This was before I witnessed a biblical, Christ-level miracle involving one of the most advanced cases of brain rot I have ever seen. There I was, sitting at a pub with a friend of mine, discussing the issues of the day. The topic naturally found its way to the subject of this video, and he offered to show me his For You page on Instagram Reels. Not only was this possibly the worst For You page I had ever seen, it was virtually unusable. Every single Reel was some variation of 5 to 20 videos overlaid onto one another, playing their own audio simultaneously, in a sort of collage format taking up the entire screen. We scrolled for nearly half an hour, and it just never got any better. Sometime around this mark, he said, says to me that he wants to just reset his content algorithm and get back to anything resembling human media. So, for the rest of our time out that night, we sat there scrolling further, and the moment we saw a video containing elements of brain rot, we would mark it not interested in the options. It took a concerning amount of time before we started to see normal reels filter back into the mix, but they did start appearing. At one point, he went to mark an innocent-seeming reel not interested, and when I asked him why, he said, look at it, it's one of those flashlight ones. I glanced at him, deeply confused, and before I could ask what he meant, the Top Gear meme that was playing was replaced by a JPEG of a flashlight pointing at the camera, and the entire screen was turned bright white while playing a high-pitched whine. Somehow, after months of prolonged contact with this shit, he'd learned to recognize otherwise indistinguishable videos that would blind you halfway through. After a few days, I saw him again, and the topic looped back round to his Instagram. But this time, when he showed me his feed, it was filled with cat videos, football memes, and clips of Polish people arguing with wildlife. Co jest, kurwa? Mordo. Pingwin. By no means had he been cured. He would still drop a pause every time the verb come was mentioned, but he did show signs of improving and had been successfully quarantined from the hazardous material, compelling him to describe us meeting for dinner as a 1v1. So, there you have it. Perhaps hope does spring anew. Maybe the world will heal from the damage done to it by this horrible affliction. If you dislike anything I said in today's video, feel free to spill the tea about my red flags in the comment section below. I read them all. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe for more like this. And stay greasy, friends. Level 5 got Riz, Livy done rizzing up baby Gronk, Ice Spice what the dog doing, Skibbity Toilet in real life only in Ohio, We Go Jim's is Creatine Alpha Sigma Cadet